Nation. <laughs> That's big, dude. I'm in giant one. This is not an itty bitty. Oh my gosh. I'm not talking about a gosh dang biggin' baby. Gosh dang gorilla. Yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, ding. I will see you later, okay? Thank you for buying. All right, y'all. Day of the dirt. It's today. We're here. I did not get to really touch on this one, really. We have a trailering policy, so we can literally go and trailer wherever we want on Sam Rayburn. Sam Rayburn can be probably one of the top five roughest places to fish. So the league ultimately in, in, enacted the trailer policy so anybody could basically drive their boat and truck to the location and then drop in or close to this ramp or whatever, however it works. Other deal is you can actually trailer during the event now. Most people probably will not, but you can. You cannot do it during the period. So just giving you guys a little bit of a rundown on that. Anyway, it is cold this morning. Pretty dang cold, like 39, 40, 41. It says like the low last night was maybe 42. I think it's colder than that. So we're gonna see how these fish act with that. Maybe knock them in the head a little bit. Pump says it's on, says begin fueling now. I got nothing. DC done took all the gas. Suck. Bye. Say goodbye. Take out this. Tell daddy bye. Tell daddy bye. Tell daddy bye. 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 See ya. Right, we love you. We'll love be you guys. Watching. See ya. Bye. Like wow. I was yeah, like, okay, thank you. I mean, if you want to go 35 minutes free dress, I'm like, well, maybe he's really worried about COVID. And I'm like, that's cool. I'm cool with that. But I was like, y'all. Uh -huh. Oh, they don't tell me nothing. As far so, as yeah, I was just like, Cody, um, you probably want to get in the truck. And you're like, I don't know. How cold is it right now? All right. So, we got my boy Cody, got Nathan, boat official, Cody's camera guy. A buddy of mine, but also it's always on that camera. Anyway, 39 degrees on the tundra this morning, and Cody did not realize there was a trailer in event. He was about to sit in the boat. Hey, on these Texas roads, speed limit 75. We were about to go 75 mile an hour, and he was gonna sit in the boat all the way there. I mean, that sounds like torture to me, but I don't know. If you wanted to start out like that, yeah, that's okay. That's called Texas tough. We just do it that way. <laughs> Texas tough. Well, we just got done with negative 10 degree weather. Yeah, you we guys, are, that, that, that's free. That's fine. Yeah. Now you know what people from Minnesota feel like. Just don't mess up my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get some house cleaning done. Well, I just, I, it didn't help. I went to a lake, a little private lake. Caught 300 in a day. So it was like, I'm just sitting there, just, you know. Yeah, it's a hard knock life, isn't it? It's hard. Uh huh. Brody, we got to shoot a video real quick here. Two, pose. Only thing I need to do is grab some sunglasses right quick. Good morning, everybody. Day one Major League Fishing BBT season starts today. We have my boy Cody in the boat. Nathan is my boat official. Tom, we're gonna have us at least be in the boat for the first period. If we don't catch something, they might kick me out and might kick Cody out and take him somewhere else. But check us out today. Hopefully, we can catch a few fish. It is cold here in Texas, but I bet you they're gonna be biting a little bit. Well, it's a little cold this morning, so I figured I would start out wide, a little bit offshore, just like in that in-between zone, 
trying to catch those fish that are staging or that are coming back out. That's a lot of times what it is, is you know, you sort of pull up on places and have to sort of feel them out. I don't know how quick these fish are gonna start, how good they're gonna start biting first thing or not. Paying attention to sort of some bait activity around this area right now. See some wounds, it's always a good sign. Those are not bass right there. A couple big carp jumping around. I don't think it'll be fast and furious this morning, but I might be completely wrong. I've been wrong before. There he is. No. Things gonna be right there. It's the only thing. First bite of the morning, though. It's the only thing some of these fish right here. You know, a lot of fish. I'm gonna put them on there just to sort of get the scales wet, you know what I'm saying? But one pound, eleven ounces, non scalable. A lot of like that's about a 15 and a half post spawn bass. Non scorable this week. That's the key is catching quality. That's what you have to fish for. Quality bites this week. You know, those just keepers are not, definitely not going to cut it. How many people on score tracker? You don't have to like tell me the whole rundown or anything. I just want to... ten anglers on score tracker. We're gonna make an adjustment before the day's over anyway. But I'm trying to get a vibe for what these fish are doing. That's got to be a big one. The way that one bit was different. There's no way. Sorry. Sorry, boys. I just don't know what it is. Oh, come on. Gosh dang it. Mmm. Sucker bit it hard, too. I thought he had it choked. Dang it. Gum, it probably snagged him. Cause that shouldn't have come off the way it did. There's no way. Oh, it stinks. I like seeing that one. Oh, I'm liking what I see right now. I know that. Mm-hmm. Respawner. Oh, you son of a gun. Dang gum. That was a good one. It's like the... Uh... Post spawn. Two pounds, four ounces. 17 incher. Previous one was it's actually a pre spawner. It's good. I like seeing that. Man, it feels unreal to break the ice. We've been catching 11, 111s, and 114s. Crappie. Crappie. Mr. Crappie. I told you. I left y'all back at Ufala. Calm down now. Dude, I caught a big in at Ufala though. I caught a 212. Jerking. I said, God dang. Sizzle. All right, sizzle. Got 
That's big indeed. I'm in a giant one. Yep, that's the one we're after. That's the one we're after, boys. Do not jump. Please stop that stuff. Please stop that stuff. Take your time, man. Please. I'm here to tell you, this one is not an itty bitty. Oh my gosh. I'm not talking about a gosh dang biggie, baby. Gosh dang gorilla, yeah, baby. This one I'm talking about. Freaking dang hammer time now. Hold up, y'all. Uh, Ding, thank you very much. Seven pounds, 15 ounces. 715, absolute gorgeous fish. Absolutely just stud. We got a swabber? Yes, sir. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Pre-spawner. Yeah, baby. I told y'all we were looking for the heavy hitters fish. We got her. Hold up, baby. I'm gonna let you get a little bit of air. Thank you for biting my cricket. I'm truly appreciative of you. Gosh dang gorilla. You know why you go to Rayburn? Those right there. That's why you go to Rayburn. Beautiful pre spawner too. Gosh, look at how beautiful she is. You just gotta admire them bass like that. Just, whew. Okay. All right, baby, I'm gonna let you go. Oh, unreal. Actually, hold up, I gotta get a picture of this one. I'm just very. All right, I'm gonna let her go, you ready? I will see you later, okay. Thank you for buying. Thank you. Give me some dab. Yeah, boys, let's go. I told y'all we were going after heavy hitters fish. I told y'all. You know what's crazy? I swear to you, no joke, I cooked that fish in practice. I swear to y'all. If you watch the practice vlog on YouTube, you'll see that bass on the exact same place. So I'm going. Well, so I'm going. I'm just, whew. Them big ones, just, man. It's like a big deer coming in. You know what I'm saying? Like a big deer coming in there and you're just like, I got one crack at her. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, you're like, oh. Please don't do nothing to me, baby. Please don't do nothing to me. When you hook into them suckers, you just, you lock in there and you're like, oh my gosh. It's a gosh dang 10 pounder. I knew it wasn't a 10 pounder, but I knew it was, it was one we wanted. Gosh, oh, it's so awesome. Sorry, y'all, I just can't help it. That's a good one. Spawner. Stop it. Let's weigh this one. I don't know if he'll weigh, but. One pound, 13 ounces. Boy, that was like a 16 inch fish. I mean, that's the kind of fish that you want to, or that was like a 15 inch fish. And that's what I'm thinking. Like you get a few pre-spawners. Well. We did our part, got that big one. Now we just got to put some more fish with it. I'm gonna make a little bit of an adjustment this period. Put the power poles down, put some rods up. Sun's coming out. I like it. I like it. We had enough bites to have a good bag, you know? I mean, that one, that one was a big one, actually. I mean, that wasn't a big one, it was like a two and a quarter. But I would like to caught it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hi. I caught that big one. 
Yeah, we saw. Yeah. That's a big Looks one. Looks good. I got me a heavy hitter's bass. Yeah, you did for sure. Say hi to Olivia. Livy. You see that big fish I caught? Yeah. Oh, it's so big. Hi. That is dad. All right, y'all, update. I'm gonna update the YouTube, I'm gonna update y'all. Eight, seven. Start period two. Okay, so this is the deal. We have caught one big one, one big one. Um, gosh dang big. And then caught another one that was scoreable, but we gotta make a little bit of a move. We're gonna go check some stuff out. See if we can catch a couple. Let's ride. I'm not seeing any movement, nothing, it's dead. Hmm. I don't like that hook. Too big a hook. Little, you little sucker. Okay, bud. Hmm. Really had high hopes for this little place right here. That's why, right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I was like, that sucker knocked it so hard. Doop! I'm like, man, they must not be coming in here. I don't know. Two pounds, ten ounces. There you go. That's actually a pre-spawner for sure. <whistles> Beautiful. Hey, I like that. That's a huge deal right there. See that fish? Healthy fat. Pre-spawn female. Maybe spawned out just a little bit. That's a big deal looking off just a smidge mm -hmm. so I just pulled out which this is sort of what's happening on Rayburn you have a lot of spawning pockets and some of its hydrilla some of its pepper grass some of its you know little places in the drains you hear about the drains these ditches that a lot of these fish funnel into and the reason for that is a lot of times there's grass in the middle of that and so they could stage that's where they stage at that's where they come back in the post spawn you know it's sort of a, a perfect coming and going deal for them and so that's exactly what we have right here. It's a little bit different deal, but just a little bit of grass, which allows them to sort of set up and sit in the center of these places. And some of them will spawn obviously out there in the middle of the grass as well. But that's the, the big, big deal. Just fan cast around, which that's the only thing I don't like. It's like you're just firing around, and it's like, boom, one gets it, and you're just like, oh gosh. There's one, you know. I really did have high hopes for this little zone. I felt like there'd be some fish that are coming, some females. Caught, had quite a few little, you know, males. I just needed to get a few bites. Okay. Dang, that was not easy. I anticipated a lot better period than that. But maybe that little bit of a hint might have, might give us a few, just a little bit of a hint ultimately will help us catch a few of them big ones. I don't know, we might be onto something. I'm gonna play with that a little bit. Um, we only have one more period, so I need, I definitely need to start catching a few pretty quality fish. I might have to make a couple adjustments.
You know what's crazy? You could literally go down that same exact stretch we just went down and freaking crush them. Mm. No, he had the mouth of him. Just didn't have the dang prank. See you later, buddy. I was hoping. Boom, there we go, baby. Let's freaking go. That's what we're talking about. Another pre-spawner. It's a good, good buy, man. Three pounds, one ounce. Yes, sir. All right. Just had to pull out a little bit. Calm down. A little hoo-hoo around. It's all good. Just calm down. Are y'all back home worried that I wasn't catching nothing? I was too. <laughs> I'm warming up just a tad. If the water temperature, I, I'm telling you what, if the water temperature comes up just a couple degrees, it makes a huge bit of difference. Nope. Nope. Come on now, son. Give me dang your girlfriend or something. Little one. Play a little little male. Just rolled up and now he's getting. Yes, sir. That should have been a bite. That one should have been a bite for sure. Okay, so there is a bass. Two pounds, five ounces. That's a big fish. Not a biggest, the biggest fish we've caught today, but that's a big one to, to catch. Just picked up a swim jig, caught a short one, and just caught that one. So, a little like green pumpkin deal, and then I'm basically just putting a little rattle and chuck, a Guggen Bates rattle and chuck on the back of it, and just really trying to keep it up high. A lot of times these fish, what they're doing is, if they're done spawning, then they're just still trying to feed. And if they're not, they're up there shallow around their beds and just, you know, they don't like that bluegill colored look. So, one pound, 12 ounces, monster. See you later, buddy. I feel good about what we're doing, though, man. Gotten some bites. Like <laughs> There's a hell of a lot more than just fish in there. Bad. It's not the only one. Oh no. Oh, my wallet never made. Oh no. I'm I don't know what's doing. I don't know. There has to be water coming in somewhere. All right. We uh, survived. Caught it a gosh dang big end, but guess what? Sizzle caught a bigger one. Unreal. They you sorry sucker. I cannot believe that crap. Anyway, so we're gonna go run back to the house. I'm sure that's gonna be grinning from ear to ear. We got some work to do next day. Now it's Mark's turn. Mark has got to catch him. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him Marshall. Marshall's good luck. Don't forget it. Just pulling back into the ramp, getting ready to drop. Nathan Cody off. We're 
drive back to the house. It's all it is. There's sizzle right there. Big fish catches on a gun. You just tell you, granted. He's in second by a one ounce. In 1.3 miles, turn left. Oh. In a quarter boy. mile, arrive at 5438 Recreational Road 255. Uh, Jacob, you can drop us off right here. Perfect. Loved it, brother. I appreciate it, man. Enjoyed it. Hey, you had a good time, man. All right, y'all, we are here. Where it is here, it's the crawfish boil. I don't know, Mark and, 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 and DC and Adrian all are, are big crawfish eaters. I've learned, I've learned over the time how to eat them. They're pretty solid, pretty and good. Last time we were, actually this guy who actually cooked them, premium, unreal. It's actually really good. Let's we'll see what's going on. Literally, first period caught one bass, second period caught one more bass, and all I can think about the third period was these things right here. And we ended up catching a few more bass, but we're about to smash on some of these crawfish. Cool thing Major League Fishing's got going on is they got this crawfish bull. We had one last year, we got another one today. All the guys are getting ready to be here. I'm sure DC, this is going to top off a great day for him. I think he was in second place, caught a nine pounder. Now he's about to eat 10 pounds of crawfish. Pretty good day. It's not even down here. It's literally it's like right here. <laughs> That's just so, so, so hot. Hot. Is that indigestion? Oh, what is that? Huge indigestion. No, that's some of them's eating the whole body, the shells, not the tails, the whole shell. The shells, not the tails. It's like a peanut hole. <laughs> that's a hashtag. The shell, not the tails. What they don't call it a 715, bro. 212. That's not uh, bad. Hey, I haven't been it. Damn. Anybody's here on today? What if you didn't catch another one over 212? Maybe three here. people? I'd be screwed, man. Hey, it's better than no twill. Yeah, but the problem is, we ain't gonna make no heavy hitter with 212. Hey, if y'all wonder who this dude is right here, that's B up? BJ. So my dog said 300 bands ain't enough. That ain't, that ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> 300 bands ain't enough, DC. Hey, I fooled around this morning, called me a big in. What, what do you weigh? What do you tip the scales at? Well, I take it back. <clears throat> I fooled around this morning. Caught me a few fish, and I said, oh, this is getting old. Biggest one was like a 314. Let me just ease over here and catch me a 10-pounder. And it was just like that, literally just <laughs> bop 10-pounder. <laughs> when they put this on TV, because it's going to be there, y'all. Guaranteed. I'm running all the way around. I did three loops around the boat. Look like I can nail it. This will be in all of them. That's what I look like, y'all. Oh, hey, I finally got in the boat. Hey, the Ooh. difference is, though, it was actually a big one. It really was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you found it? Not a two-pounder. That's a that's a shot below the belt, man. Hell no, that's, that is an elephant in the room, bro. That's you don't yell no giant hey, look, unless it's like a seven point. That's facts, though. That's the other thing about it, though. That's facts. Yeah. Oh, it's A's. Now, now, now you can be a champagne. Yeah, Iconelli knows that, though. Oh, so don't, it's not like you kicking him in the balls. He knows. He I, See, what Ike does, bro, I, I didn't figure Ike out with that whole thing. You know how, like, you try to talk your way into something? Mm -hmm. So if you speak it into existence. That fish is going to grow. <laughs> yeah. In, in, your, in his mind. That was my problem today. So, look, all day. As soon as he sets the hook, you don't wait no time. No, it's going to be like, it's like it's oh, hot. Giant, giant, bro. Giant. And he comes giant. up, and he goes like. Hey, what's hey, this? Let me just, let, let me just tell you something. Wait. If you set the hook on a fish and run all the way to the back of the boat, it's impossible for it to be a giant. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. He ain't gonna move. Dude, we just crushed about twelve dollars in candy. <laughs> Coffee bag, candy bag. Hey, all right, all right, sour patch kids. What's the best color? Uh, red. Oh, you're talking about the kids. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like missing the yellow and the green. That's blue ones, blue ones. Blue ones, where's that? We're probably like 74 dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, everybody, it's our off day. Boys raw and hooking our stuff. DC, of course, has to go to an interview here about 12 o'clock. We're gonna grab a quick bite to eat. 
checking in on old Mark. Now, I did not give Mark, Mark forgot Marshall, but I think it just, I don't know. He just, he just got a little bit of luck on his side this morning. Mark is sitting in fifth place right now. We are just inside, just a little bit inside the second period. So about three hours of fishing has been, been done. Uh, 19 pounds is leading. So, I mean, hey, uh, it seems like the weights are a little bit better today than they were yesterday. So that's a good thing. Um, maybe making it, your fish might be eating a little bit better and better mood and hopefully that's a good sign for good things to come. But we're gonna head to the dang, I guess the cafe, I don't know, some little spot down the road DC said is pretty good. So check that place out, see how good it is. Yo, where are we at? I'll let y'all know where we're at. This is like world renowned. I'm not gonna say, uh, the food's solid. The Stump restaurant down here, it's like right Jasper. I don't know if this address would be Jasper, but it's like south part of Rayburn. And this is like literally like OGs, all right? People like back in the day, like, all right, Dickie Newberry, one of the, like Texas legends, be hanging out around here. The Stump right here, always when you go to Rayburn, if you stay down this area, you always just gotta hit up the Stump. Got to, it's just a, it's a tradition. The Stump. You gonna sell them? What's that? You gonna sell them shirts? Yeah. Hey, people are going to buy that shirt. <laughs> Why is it upside down? I don't know. <laughs> the screen doesn't flip. You're good. Yeah, it doesn't flip. It's, it's broken. That's it. It got wet a couple times. <laughs> 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 Y'all yeah. know it is. He did. I saw one. Y'all come on into the stone. Him come walking your way. I start shaking. <laughs> well, they're they're filming, so I can't tell you what almost happened to me. But. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy killed a 187. Looks just like and where was that at? Mexico. Nice. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, we got them like that in Jersey too. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's why we say anything. I mean, we're fishing for tuna. Hey, I think it runs two meters or six feet. Where are you getting that? Right here. Secret baits. I booked like a huge house and it's got like a We got a huge house at Travis too. Outside, like, what? Oh, a basketball court? Oh, that's going to be dope for freaking vlogs. What? You got a hot tub and everything? <laughs> Somebody hit me up on IG and said these was tent caterpillars. I get it because they made the tent, right? But I don't know. And then somebody else hit me up and said these are excellent bait for bluegill and crappie. But when I came out here yesterday, there was hundreds of them pouring. They're all inside of here. There's a bunch of them in there. Let's see if we can get one. Yeah, here go one right here. Come here, bro. Uh, oh, I didn't want to kill. I don't want to kill you, but I probably didn't kill you. That right there, there we go. That dude right there. That's gonna turn into a butterfly or a moth. All right, bro, I'm gonna put you back. You know, see, I fool with you, bro. You know, I'm looking out, I'll put you back in your house. Don't be juicing on me, though. Hey, look, best ribs you've ever ate in your life, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Hey, how long did it take to cook? If I told y'all that, you, you would say... Uh, he had me kill real bad. It doesn't take <laughs> me long enough. Really? Put the first rack on it. Yeah, what's that, baked beans? Baked beans. Oh, he's looking out. Oh, I wow. do it a lot different than anybody else. Huh. <laughs> hey, well, I'm excited. I heard all about these. Yeah, DC had them a few years ago. He's still talking about them. They were great, man. 
you know, bone side down on the hottest fire, bone down in 10, 15 minutes or so, turn it over and, and get a brown on them, you know, put them in foil. Yeah. Wrap them up or half a, half a beer. You got half, half a beer. Half a beer in there. That's the dang deal. And put them on there for Good stuff. Good stuff. You don't find good people like this. All right. So I had uh, I had these ribs four years ago. Same neighbor. So we were staying at this house. Same you know same house four years ago. Like Airbnb or whatever. But we ended up booking the same deal. The neighbor said, Hey, you want some ribs? I said, Absolutely, because they fire. A little bit of sweet baby right there. Hey, this is this is gonna be solid. Are you gonna sit down here with us? I got another rack over for me and the wife. You got another rack. <laughs> she had told me oh, the other day that that before I start this, oh, I had my, my younger, my oldest boy and his wife coming up. I said, "Why don't do some ribs?" She said, Thank you so much. Hey, tell DC to get in here before we. Leave. Look at this. Hey, you throw him in the water, he quiver like a cinco. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. Only you guys hey. can taste this right now. Sweet baby right. Sweet and spicy too though. Uh-huh. You, is... you do need a dip in a little bit of stuff though. Yeah. Gotta have, I mean he is so tender, it's unbelievable. Unreal. Oh, you need to put that down so you're eating yourself. Thank you, I'm good. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all. Have a good day, man. Thank you. Hey, you guys have a great day. Good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. We got a little. <laughs> All right, so we just got a little bit of go-go juice. Got him in the igloo cup. Now, we just got to add some bass to this thing. We got to go pick up our boat official. We'll have a camera on our boat today as well. DC is missing. He's like just right out by an ounce. I think we're like 11 pounds out. So my game plan is sort of like, go to some of the stuff I think I can catch them on, but the wind's actually messing this, a lot of that up right now, which is sort of stinks. But, and if I can get a good start, then I might try to really push to try to win. Or it might be a deal you don't even get a bite, then I might be trying to push to make the cut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know. So let's try to push to win and then worry about it from there. <laughs> oh wow! I, I'm negotiable now, huh? I had to play it. That's that's amazing. The cameraman is now a negotiable commodity. <laughs> it, it I feel very loved you. right now. So the, the thing is, we try to be seen away. So the, the, the whole thing is, they try to keep us with the same official for that event. You know, with, with COVID restrictions, everything else. Um, they're just trying to ultimately keep it to where it's pretty confined, same camera guys, some stuff like that. So sort of the, the whole deal. Now we're just sitting in line waiting to go up the pond. And it's supposed to stop raining. It's supposed to. But if it does not, we'll put the frog togs on and we'll go ahead and ride ride. But I don't know, I'm actually gonna launch in a different place today than I ever I have all practice. I'm gonna go look at new water throughout the ride through, look at some new stuff. Issue is conditions are changing, weathers at 61 degrees. You know, now that's the thing. We as bass fishermen tend to want to push the fish up on the bank quicker than they want to get there. So there's always waves that are behind them. There's always fish that are staging. And so I don't want to do that necessarily, but with the conditions and it warm, it being a warm night with a 60 degree night, I got a feeling Scorch Arc is going to be dinging off. How many fish have caught been caught, you said? There's one. A little large now. A little large now. Hmm. Let me just weigh this there. I know he's about a one. I know he's a, no, I'm not weighing him. He's a one, 
eight, but I just like to start the morning off by getting a good gauge. Oh, let's roll real hard here. I'm not feeling it. Mm, fishes are biting. I think they slid up a little bit actually. A little more. Come here, buddy. Please stop that. I'm sort of sitting here trying to analyze this one thing because I feel like there's pre-spawners in this area. There's more pre-spawners here than what I've caught in a lot of places. So I'm trying to like, I don't know if there's a ton of little ones or if it's, you know, a decent amount of them or... So I'm just trying to sort of feel it out. A little. Pre-spawner though. Not all beat up. It's a good thing. That's what I'm looking for, man. I just gotta fish for them. It's the only way you got really options. That one. Four more today, anyway. I knew it was close, that's a day big. Yeah. Big. Big deal. Three, two, one. Lines out in second period. Alright. Jacob, they want to come take me, but I need you to slide up a few places. Four, three, two, one. Lines in start of the third period. It's not running right for whatever reason. Oh, it took something deal. I forgot to just go down the drain and catch them. I mean, I'll go back to like where I got some ball. It hasn't followed me, I guess. A little one. A little one, man. There's three of them there, and this one bit it. That's big on the thing. Don't come off, baby. Gosh, don't jump. Please, you only got one hook. Don't do it, don't do it. God. on that one right there just caught that fish a loco special it's a deep one it's actually called regurgitated shad and that one right there has a nice post spawn stud let's get a let's get a weight on her five pounds ten ounces five ten that's what i'm talking about <whistles> thank you so much seriously i love you fish thank you i'm gonna treat you very well i'm gonna let you go right back here can you slide on back? See you later, buddy. Whoo! That's a big one, y'all. That's a big deal right there. We, I didn't know if I could, I mean, it was, it was tough because I keep going back and forth, but that fish right there is, whoo. I'm not gonna say it guarantees us, but that definitely gets us in the right place. Post spawner. Dude, that's like a look at him. He's been freaking all tore up. He's been up there spawning non stop. Not 
far. the cut it was not an easy one by no means but uh hey we're in there caught a big in last second well we caught a big in on a loco special and uh got it done gotta figure out how to catch more though making the touch one thing making the name top 10 and top eight we we'll try to be another I don't like that. That's why you need the scoops. Yeah, these right here are like dumb. Why they gonna make it straight? Watch this, it's too watery. They made that water so they was trying to save money. Look, that's exactly what it was. Tostitos was like, look, as if we don't have enough money in our in our bank account, let's pour some more water in there and save all the tomatoes. So they cut tomatoes by like 10%. At the end of the day, the cut cost. And when they did this, when they did this right here, their stock went up three percent. Yep, their stock went up three percent. They're like, man, look, now I can go on another Hawaiian vacation for nine weeks. The CEO did. Unreal. Put more tomatoes in my. It's a route. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Eerie dart. Steiger's ice. This one messed me up. Listen, no, it get better. So, so I see this and it's, it's just, it come up off the bottom. It's probably like I'm in like 16. It's in like 12. So it's very distinct. Super bright yellow, big gummy. And he, but he, he float like this. He dances. I wonder if I can catch him. I don't know what it is. It's big though. So I draw my drop shot down. It go down. The gummy worm went like this. It went from like this. So then here with my drop shot. Oh. <laughs> OB. OB. Two seconds, man. I was like. Right? That's when you pick it up and say, heavy. Bro. Like, yeah, I said, it, but more or less, like you said, it disappeared. I'm like, why it go down so fast? I'm like, I don't know why it went down like there. To eat your dad. He's like, going or something, right? He was, he was hungry. I'll put the bell over. I'm going to say, shake it. Because, you know, I'm like, I got to entertain him. I got to shake it. It's already bowled up. Like, I ain't did nothing. Oh, oh I, giant, bro. I said, and that is the story of Mark's That's first pass he's ever dropped on. This is before the last coach. 2D. Listen, all you OGs out there. Say about this. I'm going to let you wrap your head around this. That, that small mouth, he was hungry. Yes, sir. He was. And you fed him. I did. The eerie, <laughs> I fed him an eerie daughter. You fed him. Yeah. He was hungry. He was swimming around looking for his food. And he went. God! <laughs> <laughs> <Pop>. <laughs> he ate it. He ate it. Like, like if you really start wrapping your mind around what we do, yes. we're yes. trying to catch hey. wild animals yes. that are hungry. Yes, yeah, but you gotta understand, you do yeah. that, you do that. To Raver to ain't hungry. No, listen. They, <laughs> let me just say, they ain't hungry on Raver right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I promise. Hey, I promise you. <laughs> This is in practice. I saw that. Now I'm seeing it. So I would see that. I'd be throwing that crankbait, bombing it. Because it's too rough. <laughs> now, at least you didn't drop my crankbait rod. Hey, well, I was halfway out. No, I ain't do. I, I wasn't quite there yet. I threw my crankbait up and I said, huh, they're one of them same things I've seen in practice. A big dummy. It go down, same thing. Line go down. Quick, with it. 
You ain't got to set the hook. He already on it. Bro, these is four and a half and five pounds. It's like a run. Go. Literally go. run. You go outdoors, go smallmouth fishery, like drop on them. Right. You might as well just jump in it's boat. gotten tougher though. For real though, it has completely gotten tougher to catch fish off the ground. Now, four fish are our helps a lot. That's a real, that's a it is definitely a ball. It changed my life though, bro. It's more it's competing. Literally. Oh, because, yeah. because you literally, like, yeah, you can graph and find these places, but like, a lot of times you don't know what you're gonna catch. Right. You have no idea. All right, everybody, we are officially done with rigging up. Uh, I'm looking at the map, sort of analyzing a few things, finished off the elimination round and sliding into the top. Top 10, I was in eighth place, made it to the knockout round. So tomorrow's the knockout round. Looks like Mark is going to make it. I think Spore might win. It's sort of like a tit for tat right now. It's about one more period left. And the fishing seems to be getting better. This is the thing. Like I know fish are up there getting ready to spawn and like they're just a new wave is pushing in. The thing is, is there's probably only a handful of areas that's actually happening at. And those fish have to take a, t a little bit of time to actually get comfortable up there before you can actually catch those fish just by fishing. So I've been really targeting pre-spawn fish, but with these warm nights tonight, the, the temperature is going to be the low. The low is going to be 66 degrees. That's very, very warm. The only thing is we do not have sun. It is bombed out cloudy. We do not have sun. And so that can change some things as well. But 66 is a very warm night. I assume that in the bass, when they come up, they start to spawn that, like, like literally they do it at night. That is like when they push up, like you'll see them just come in, like when you be in a pocket and there'll be nothing there. And the next day you get up there in the morning, you go down through there, there'll be bass spawning everywhere. It's they do it at night. So being a warm night, I could see quite a few moving in. I don't know what's going to ultimately transpire, but I feel pretty good about it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. We dropped the practice vlog, so if you've not seen that, you can check that out. How I sort of come to the conclusion of what I did throughout the first couple of days and qualifying to the knockout round. And tomorrow we ultimately have to try to push to make the championship round. So thank you guys so much. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing on the channel this year. That's it. A wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We out.